Hello, um, I'm Steve Melendres, a model maker, illustrator, scientific illustrator, sculptor, designer for the model, uh, Natural History Museum in Los Angeles. Done a lot of different things, um, but I'm going to be doing watercolor demonstrations of the techniques I've developed over the years. Um, and it's going to go from a lot of different directions. And also I'm going to be doing videos, uh, I call them video posters for my daughter. So a lot of stuff that I can leave to my daughter about her crazy dad. <laughs> so um, I'm taking a lot of different directions, but mainly three. Um, so anyway, that's my introduction that I'm going to attach to every thing I'm doing now. So I don't have to repeat this. Be careful out there. A little bit so you can see what I've been doing there. I've kind of worked this. I'm going to do a demonstration on that when I do the demonstration on those. Kind of finished and worked the the leaves a little bit more. I hated them. So they have the little spikes in there, a little bit fatter. Um, anyway, so that's kind of... And this, this one right here looks different from if you saw it previously. It looks a lot different now. Some little detail there. Tissue paper. And obviously this one is way too big. So for this painting, I could probably use this for another painting if I wanted to do a um, swallow tail. Um, but the wings I'm figuring would be pretty good. So now what I'm doing is I'm... So I'm going to blow it up some. And basically, I would say this is a, a generic swallowtail, mainly because, um, you know, there's over 500 different species. And if I was in scientific mode, I would be doing every little tile piece. Now, if you ever look at a butterfly under magnification, you will notice that all that color is little shingles, pretty much um, like a roof tile. And every once in a while, they throw in a new little roof tile that um, has a little bit of color. Now, the top one doesn't have as much color as the bottom one. Now, what I'm trying to do is just build up layers, as you can see. Now, I'll be doing this one, probably not on camera. This will be the backside of the butterfly. And you can see I'm just kind of taking my time. Now, eventually what I'm going to do is... Okay, let me see. Come into this here. I'm using a Payne's Gray. And there's some other little streaks in here. And there's some big blocks right in this little area right in here. And I would be coming in and out several times. I want to do is break up that edge. Now, there is kind of a, a line. Now, I put in the I would say the yellow first because I'm going to be pulling out and this has some light areas in here and these are the yellow little sections. Now remember, I am going very fast 
And I'm doing this mainly, as I may have said before, not for the people that feel comfortable in the quick uh, pattern of watercolors where you can just make it quick and spin one out. Um, and complete it in, in half hour. That's not me. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's what, pe that's a style people have. What I am doing is for the people who are like me that like to add detail to their subject matter um, and want to spend more time and add detail. Now, in previous um, videos, I do use the quick, fast method on certain things. Skies is one of them and different type effects. Um, sometimes you need that loose, especially with the mountains and rocks and things. I use that same thing, but I also, that for me is the first step. I will come back in and detail it out so it's in layers now this is I don't know if you can see well can I go in a little bit more okay so this has kind of like a Oh, how can I say this a little fuzzy little thing here? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here. Oops, need more. Right about here, and I'm just going to do little teeny strokes. These would represent those little tile pieces, and it they're fascinating things uh, when you look under a microscope and you actually see the design patterns. Now. I I really love butterflies and when I'm teaching my students I kind of explain mainly the monarch butterfly because that is just a mis the mystery of life um, and people know they migrate and that's you know one of the things they do um, and there's different you know, species, and there's different ones that go in different areas. Um, one of them goes from, like, the middle of the country, and they end up in a place called Michoacan. And Michoacan is in Mexico, and that's where they land. Now, what I'm going to say is something that defies logic. And I try to explain to my students when I'm doing this. Um, now, I'm going to explain how I show them. I get three students, and I blindfold them. And I walk each one of them separately around the room. And then I ask, I unfold or un unblindfold one of my students, and I will say, okay, that person right there had a movement in a direction all over the room. I want you to retrace their steps. Of course, it's pretty much impossible to do. I mean, they kind of guess because it's a small room. But, you know, it's my way of getting my point across. So I just say, now that is the butterfly, the monarch butterfly. And I explain to them that what happens is when they start from Canada, their first journey is they'll fly and make their way to the middle of the country lay their eggs and die. Now, after that, the next generation is born. They get up from the middle of the country, head all the way 
to Michoacan on the Day of the Dead, which they don't have any knowledge of how they got there or to Canada or to Mexico because it's always a new generation. Now, that new generation, when it makes it to Michoacan, it lays its eggs and the journey starts again. So each of those generations has no idea what the first, second and third generation was doing prior. It's just an instinctual thing that they know they got ahead to, to Canada, even though they know they're not going to make it, but they still need to head there. Now, I try to explain what the miracle also is about, because that's just a, a journey that um, defies all logic. Now, what the way I explain to them, because, you know, people just don't really understand what's happening. And I, I want them to understand the miracles of nature. And the monarch butterfly is um, <laughs> one of those miracles. Now, it's something called mimicry. And there's another butterfly that looks almost exactly like the monarch. Because the monarch is poisonous. And if a bird eats one, they get terribly sick and throw up and they know they're never going to get that butterfly ever again. So the, the, the Viceroy looks like with the same color patterns, only a pretty much an entomologist would be able to tell the difference. And because they disguise themselves, something similar to the monarch, that's their insurance, even though they're not poisonous. They look like a monarch, and birds will leave them alone. Um, but I also want to explain something about butterflies. Maybe you may know this, <clears throat> and that's awesome. Maybe some people never even give it any thought. But the way I explain it to my students, I say, okay. And I have a large sculpture on Metamorphos in my living room. Well, kind of my living room. Anyway, so um, I say, okay, so I take Samuel. I put him in a, in a barrel. I blend him up into this goo. That would be the cocoon. And then after a certain amount of time, Samuel pops out. But he's no longer human. He's an elephant. He is totally transformed from this goo and coagulated and formed and changed and and it turned into another species. In other words, it went from an egg to a caterpillar to a cocoon and then transformed into this butterfly, which is completely different. Anyway, so that's my way of explaining the metamorphosis to my class of... Um, seventh or eighth graders. So let me kind of move this around. Now I went into the body. I'll explain. I went into the body, and, and it pretty much works the same way as I demonstrated. Started with the yellow, started blending in little areas. Um, kind of went into the different areas, and and slowly kind of added the this paints gray, and then kind of put water and blending it out, and he kind of made it so it has kind of a not a hard edge. Um. This one is pretty much done with this. This one was definitely took me more time because it was a lot more, and, and I didn't want to do the demonstration on that. So that is my monarch butterfly.